So the other day I had somebody ask me, why are you so adamant about not bringing a child into this world? She allowed laughter to leave her mouth so easily, just as easy as the officers who let off 50 reasons as to why Sean Bell's life had no meaning. For a split second, I stared blank into space and could feel tears develop because I had a vision. Not quite like Ravens, but more like Geneva Reed Ville or Cariato Diallo, the mothers of Sandra Bland and Amadou Diallo. See, I envision life in their shoes, where doubt and skepticism must flood through their head as they continue to question just how deep did the hatred for their black child stem that such a loving representation instead appeared to be such a threat. Okay. Snaps back to reality. Our eyes aligned, and she could tell by my demeanor that her question triggered trauma that may be too fragile to speak of. Because, see, I could have just said turn on the TV and filter through the channels till you see yet another black boy being lynched on the news. And please, don't you forget to leave a five-star review. Because, you know, black trauma only gets catered to as long as there's an audience present in the room. Or I could have just said go on Twitter and see who our latest departed hashtags be. But that still may be too vague of an answer. So allow me to explain. On May 25th, 2020, on what felt like the coldest day in spring, air so crisp you can hear silence consume the room, as I watched the soul of George Floyd leave the body that from birth was deemed unworthy. Now see, I'm no mother, but on that day I gave birth to all the pain that is deeply rooted within our oh so free society. I then took my pen and proceeded to dip it in the blood of my unborn child, and I wrote a letter to them. And I said, although mommy will never get the chance to actually meet you, me choosing not to bring you into this world shows how much I love you more than this world ever would. Because if there was ever a day in this lifetime where I had to bury my child because a slave master, I'm sorry, I mean one of those niggas dressed in blue, decided that my child's melanin gets mistaken for a Glock 9 and is denied the right of nine lives, they might as well take me to poem. <laughs>